Oh yeah, um, you know we've been we've been prepping for for August since November last year. So um, you know you put in so much work in the off season, you put in so much time and into this whole deal, and so when you finally get to come out here and and get going and hit the ground running, it doesn't really feel like work. All the work happens in the off season. Now's the time to have fun and and you know get your money's worth. So um, you know it's it's been a fun journey. How tough was what transpired last year for you just personally as a coach? I mean, it's not easy for anybody to have to go through that, you know, weekly and then deciding to postpone the rest of the season. How difficult was that? Yeah, I mean, I, I knew what I was getting myself into. I knew, I knew it was a big rebuilding situation. I knew, um, you know, the, the kids in the program had been through a lot. There wasn't a whole lot of experience. There was a lot of youth. Um, you know, we were playing with we were playing with kids that you know just weren't necessarily ready to to handle, especially the type of schedule we had. We had a lot of heavy hitters on our schedule early, and then a few heavy hitters on our schedule on the back end. So um, it was something that we had been talking about for a while. Um, you know, we just we tried to make it work, and and after you get a few games in, and the type of injuries we we're having, and and. You know, me being up all night trying to make sure my players are okay and healthy, it just got to the point where we had to make a decision in the best interest of the kids. And, and us moving down to the JV level essentially was one where we were already a JV team. You know, we didn't have a JV team last year. We had a freshman team and a varsity team, and the varsity team was full of young guys. So us moving down to JV, we kind of moved down to the level we were at as a program at that point. And, you know, we had a little bit more success. You know, we were able to teach a little bit better. We were able to coach a little bit better. The players were able to correct their mistakes a little bit better. And we saved a lot of kids that otherwise might not be out here today. So it was a decision for, you know, for the best, for the best, you know, so. I guess, I mean, in today's day and age, it's, you know, kids see adversity at times and kind of want to run from that. So the kids who wanted to stick it out last year, that kind of has to say something about the guys you have who yeah. want to play. Yeah, we have a great group of, of core guys that from day one, they've they've trusted in, in myself and my coaching staff and everything we've been trying to instill. Um, you know, and they, they just, they really, really just embraced what we've been trying to build. You know, our, our, our motto has been one way, one family. And, you know, all we've been preaching is that one way is work and we got to work no matter what it is, no matter what the situation is, we got to be ready to put in the work. We got to be ready to do it together as a family. And they've really embraced that. Um, you know, we've, we've really been working hard since, like I said, since late October, early November, just to put ourselves in a position where we can compete. Um, you know, and I feel, I feel pretty good about where we're at. I think the biggest thing for us, we just have to stay as healthy as we can. Um, and we just have to keep improving. And we got guys that have put on 50 pounds and 40 pounds. They've increased um, bench maxes and squat maxes because it was really the first time a lot of our guys in the program had been through, you know, a pretty, a pretty, pretty strenuous off-season weightlifting, strength conditioning program. We put them through a lot. We were out here running sprints in the snow, in the rain, and so we put them through a lot to prepare them for the type of grind that a football season presents. You get into coaching, obviously, because you like to teach and you know bring young men along. Has this been about as difficult as you thought? Do you, have you enjoyed trying to you know turn this program around slowly? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm someone that that embraces challenges. You know, I've I've always told myself that you know I don't run away from challenges. I run right to them, and um, you know I knew this was a big challenge, and you know there's tough days. There's days where, you know, I get a little bit down, but, you know, I always remember my why. I got into coaching to be a mentor, to be someone that could, that could inspire change in the youth and, and help kids grow. Um, and, you know, that, that hasn't changed. So there's a lot of kids in this program that have experienced 
crazy growth. They've grown in so many areas, not just as an athlete, but just as a person, just, just general confidence. We got guys that are so much more confident than they were a year ago. Um, you know, and that's, that's what's important to me. You know, you gotta be able to be confident. You gotta be able to have, you know, your mind right. And with a lot of these guys, they've taken huge strides in areas that have nothing to do with football that, you know, essentially help with the game. So I'm so proud of a lot of our guys and how they've, how they've really embraced all the things we've thrown at them. Cause we've thrown a lot, you know, we, my, my coaching staff, myself, we come from winning. We're used to winning. We're used to having success. And, you know, we all knew, we all knew that this was going to be a big, heavy lift, but, um, you know, I'm not one that runs away from challenges and, and we have a lot of great kids. They just, they just need structure and we're trying to provide that structure to the best of our abilities. How do you define success this upcoming year? I'm sure it's past the wins and losses, but what are you just hoping to see the most from this team this year? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing is, is you know, our, our competitive nature. Um, you know, can we continue to compete when things are not going well? When we do do, you know, when we do have those good plays and we have some success, because I think guys are in a little bit more position to have some success, can we handle that success and continue to play? And a big thing we've been preaching to them is having the next play mentality. When things go well, you don't, you know, you don't get complacent. When things aren't going so well, you don't let that, you know, dwell on it. So um, I think just us continuing to get better, staying healthy and focusing on that next play all the time, focusing on the next play and staying, staying consistent no matter what's going on. You know, last year a lot I told them, you can't worry about what's going on on the scoreboard, you can't worry about what's going on in the stands or anything or what people might say about how much you're losing by or whatever. Yeah. You just gotta keep going out there and playing and that's how you earn the respect. And I think there's a lot of you know, other coaches around here in this area that have a lot of respect for these guys in this program that stuck it out and continue to work and battle despite the circumstances. How about the quarterback too? Uh, at least it looks like the starter with the reps he's already getting there. How, how important is it seeing a guy like that be so vocal that kind of shares the same belief and philosophy as you? How important is that to have guys like that in a program like this that needs it? Yeah, it's very important. Um, you know, he's a kid that, that definitely um, has been along with me since day one. I think as soon as I walked in this school, you know, he wouldn't let me walk by him without knowing who he was. Um, you know, he was a wide receiver initially. That's what he loves and that's what, you know, he's always wanted to be. But, you know, we got into some serious injury, uh, you know, situations last year and he stepped up and he did it willingly. And ever since then, he's kind of embraced that role as being the quarterback and being the guy that's vocal and being the guy that, you know, helps others get going. And, you know, I think with him, like, I, like I've been saying, is just staying healthy and continuing to get a little bit better. You know, we're not, we're not perfect out here. We're just trying to improve and con continue taking those strides that we need to take to be a successful program. You know, the, the, the potential is here. The potential is all around this community. You know, it's really just guys embracing the challenge, embracing the grind, and, um, you know, continuing to work step by step. How about you? You did it as a player at East Lansing, and now you do it as a coach here. So you know what makes Fridays in high school football so fun. Yeah. For now, you as a coach, what still gives you that thrill when you go out there on a Friday night? That just does it compare to anything else? I think I'm just a I'm just a competitive guy. Um, I think even when I even when I stopped playing, like I never stopped. I never lost that competitive drive. Just even in even in the workplace, no matter where I've been, I've just I've loved competing. Um, you know, and I love helping helping kids grow and giving kids knowledge that, that I wish I had when I was their age. There's so many things that I get to preach to them and tell them that I didn't necessarily have when I was their age. And it makes me feel good when, you know, I'm walking around the school or, you know, the guys are hanging out and they're, they're saying the exact same things I say. And it's encouraging, it's positive. So I think just having that impact, I've always been someone that's wanted to make an impact on, on guys that need it and guys that deserve to have someone that has the knowledge and has played college football at the division one level and has been successful. Um, and, you know, I think that's what gets me going every day is just the, the opportunity to, to, you know, create change and inspire guys that, that absolutely need it and could use it in their life. Alejandro Urea, A-L-E-J-A-N-D-R-O, and then U-R-R-E-A.
So your grade? I will be a junior, class of 25. You're a junior, and you're predominantly quarterback now? I'm predominantly quarterback. I also play receiver. So Effie said that you were receiver mainly last receiver year. Receiver right? mainly last year until yeah. they converted me. Yep. So injuries kind of forced your hand to play quarterback? Injury forced my hand to play quarterback. You seem to like it now, right? Yeah, I, th I find it's enjoyable. How about just being back? I mean, the way the season kind of was cut short last year. How exciting is it just to be back on the football field? Oh man, it's a, it's a great feeling to be back here, out here, you know, out here with the boys. You know, we're competing, working hard, and you know, with the season being cut short last year, it's just disappointing. You know, we want to get back out here and just work hard as we can and compete. How tough was that? I mean, I think from the outside, it's easy for people to just you know lazily say, oh, you know, they're just canceling the season, blah blah blah, but they don't know you know, all the work that goes into just any of the games that you guys were playing. So just having it cut short because of things out of your hands, how hard was that? I mean, it was very difficult. You know, it hurt me pretty bad, honestly. You know, I love football so much, you know, that's what I, that's what I do. Um, and just being cut short, you know, you see the media and you see people talk, you know, they don't really know what we went through. They didn't know a lot of stuff was out of our control. You know, we had to do what was best for the program. And, you know, it was just devastating, it really hurt. And, you know, not even, like, some of the community didn't even have our backs, you know, and so that was hard. I mean, I think Effie knows, you know, going, this was going to be a difficult position for him. It oh, yeah. It was going to be a tough turnaround getting Okemos to what it can be. Yeah. How encouraged and confident are you in having him at the helm? Maybe not just for this year, but moving forward. I fully believe in Coach Effie in this program. He has a great group of coaches, best group of coaches I've ever been around. And I've been a lot around a, co been a, lot, around a lot of coaches. You know, I can never, I can say that Coach Effie has never done me wrong. Always has my best interest. Always looking out for me. Helps me with whatever I need outside of football as well. His Saturday practices aren't probably ideal for most kids. But no, I'm sure not. I mean, and he was talking about it, trying to turn it around. you got to get more of a buy-in for even a Saturday and just you in the first 10 minutes. I mean, vocal, you know, trying to get everybody on the same page. How important is that? Do you sense maybe that you have to kind of be that voice for a team that can truly use it? Well, starting off with these weekend practices, it's very important. You know, nobody wants to do it, but that's where, you know, the great teams are made. You know, just coming out here and just working. You know, it's not ideal, but it's what we got. And, you know, being vocal, you know, not that many kids on the team. You know, we're trying to get numbers up. We got some injuries, you know. It's just somebody's got to be a voice. You know, we need leaders, you know. Is, is there a win and loss goal benchmark you guys are hoping to hit? Or is it just, is there a certain area you're just hoping to see improvement? Man, we're just looking to improve in everything and compete, you know. We don't want those blowout scores. You know, we're trying to put some points on the board, you know, go out with the fight, you know. I guess just how, how much regardless of, the tough results last year, just how much do you enjoy playing high school football? I love high school football. I think it's uh, something that every kid should try to experience if they can, you know, builds character. And I mean, high school football is great. What have you seen differently from this team at this point from where you guys were last year? Have you seen a noticeable difference or a buy-in? Or I think the team chemistry and the buy-in, yeah. The team chemistry, you know, team chemistry wasn't there last year. You know, we only had a couple seniors, you know. A lot of them went down with injuries, you know. Had a lot of young guys that had to step up. With this group, we've got a lot more seniors. A lot more, we got a big junior class, and I think the leadership's there. You know, the team chemistry, everybody wants to be around the team. You know, we hang out outside of the football stuff, and we're just really, really good together. Is that lead up to the opener kind of like the lead up to Christmas just in terms of anticipation and excitement yeah I think so I think that's what builds up to it do you guys talk about that as you know like as the, as that first game of the year is just how it's going to be you know different in the excitement you know I think I've had that first game on my calendar I've been counting down the day since about 100 really you know really excited you know I think they are too you know we got the scrimmage coming up but I think really August 25th St. John's you know we're really excited to play them and I think everybody's highly anticipated ready for it